Bienvenidos al canal DIY Onda Garage. DTC P145C indicates an EVAP, Evaporative Emission Control System, System Purge Flow Malfunction for the Honda CRV model years 2011 to 2016. The EVAP system's main function is to capture and store fuel vapors from the fuel tank, preventing them from escaping into the atmosphere. This system includes components like the EVAP canister, purge valve, and various lines that connect these parts. When the P145C code activates, it typically suggests an issue with the flow of purge vapors, potentially due to a blockage or malfunctioning purge valve. Diagnosing this code is crucial as it affects the vehicle's emissions and can lead to increased fuel consumption. Before proceeding with any troubleshooting steps, it is essential to gather all relevant freeze data and onboard snapshots, ensuring a thorough understanding of the vehicle's status. The EVAP system consists of several critical components, primarily the EVAP canister, which stores fuel vapors, and the purge valve, which controls the flow of these vapors to the intake manifold for combustion. In the Honda CRV, the EVAP canister is typically located near the fuel tank, while the purge valve is often mounted on the engine or close to the intake manifold. The role of the EVAP canister is to prevent fuel vapors from escaping into the atmosphere, thereby reducing harmful emissions. The purge valve allows for the controlled release of these vapors into the engine for burning during combustion. If there is a malfunction in this system, it can lead to decreased fuel efficiency and increased emissions. Understanding the locations and functions of these components is critical when addressing DTC P145C. Several factors can contribute to DTC P145C being triggered. One common issue is a poor electrical connection within the wiring or connectors related to the EVAP system, which may disrupt the signal between components. Additionally, a blockage in the purge line can prevent vapors from flowing correctly between the EVAP canister and the purge valve, leading to malfunction. Damage to either the EVAP canister itself or the purge valve can also result in improper system operation. Furthermore, if additional diagnostic trouble codes such as P0496 or P0497 are present, they should also be addressed since they directly relate to the EVAP system purge flow. Understanding these potential causes will help pinpoint the exact nature of the problem. When DTC P145C is active, several symptoms may be noticed. The most immediate indicator is typically the illumination of the check engine light on the dashboard, alerting the driver to an issue with the vehicle's emission system. Furthermore, drivers might experience a reduction in fuel efficiency as malfunctioning components can disrupt the proper combustion process leading to wasted fuel. Increased emissions may also occur, posing not only environmental concerns, but potentially affecting compliance with emissions regulations. Other symptoms could include unusual engine performance, particularly during acceleration or deceleration, making it essential for drivers to investigate the issue promptly. Recognizing these symptoms can guide drivers in seeking timely repairs. The initial step in troubleshooting DTC P145C involves turning the ignition switch to the on position, which activates electrical systems without starting the engine. This allows for the diagnostic scanner, specifically the HDS, Honda Diagnostic System, to retrieve any stored codes it's crucial to check for both pending and confirmed diagnostic trouble codes as they provide insight into current system issues. While P145C may be the focus, it is essential to also check for related codes such as P0496 and P0497 as they can coexist and indicate broader problems within the EVAP system. Gathering all relevant data at this stage sets the foundation for a more focused and effective troubleshooting process, 
ensuring no potential fault goes unnoticed. In this step of troubleshooting, it is critical to assess whether DTCs P0496 or P0497 are present, along with P145C. These codes relate to high and low purge flow, respectively, and indicate specific issues that may be affecting the EVAP system's operation. If these codes are indicated alongside P145C, it suggests complications that may be causing the malfunction. It's advisable to follow the troubleshooting procedures for these additional codes, as resolving them could directly impact the resolution of P145C. Failure to address related DTCs might result in misdiagnosis or incomplete repairs, creating ongoing performance issues. Each code's troubleshooting steps must be systematically followed to ensure a comprehensive repair approach. The next phase in the troubleshooting process involves a thorough inspection of the EVAP lines and the purge valve. Start by visually checking all lines for any signs of damage, such as cracks or blockages that might impede vapor flow. These lines are essential for the transfer of vapors from the canister to the engine and any defects could lead to a malfunction, triggering DTC P145C. Following this, inspect the operation of the purge valve, ensuring it opens and closes appropriately when activated. A stuck closed valve can hinder proper vapor flow, illuminating the error code. Verifying these components' integrity is crucial in identifying and resolving the issue affecting the EVAP system. After completing the necessary repairs, it is vital to verify that the issues related to DTC P145C have been resolved. Start by clearing the diagnostic trouble codes from the system using the HDS. Following this, conducting a short road test allows the vehicle systems to operate under normal conditions providing an opportunity to monitor for any recurrence of the code. Make sure to observe the check engine light to confirm whether it illuminates again during the drive. It is important to ensure all functions of the EVAP system are working correctly before finalizing the repair process. This verification step is critical in validating that the troubleshooting efforts were effective and that the issue has been fully addressed. Preventive maintenance is essential to mitigate the risk of future issues related to DTC P145C and the EVAP system overall. Regular system checks should be performed to ensure all components are functioning correctly. Focusing on the EVAP canister, purge valve, and associated lines, it's advisable to inspect electrical connections and hoses for signs of wear or damage, as early detection can prevent more significant complications down the line. Keeping the EVAP system clean and free from blockages will help maintain optimal performance and emissions levels. Scheduling routine inspections during regular servicing will ensure any emerging issues are caught and addressed in a timely manner reinforcing the longevity and efficiency of the vehicle. In conclusion, DTC P145C represents an EVAP system purge flow malfunction, which is pivotal in maintaining vehicle emission standards. Understanding the roles of the EVAP components helps in diagnosing potential issues effectively. Following a systematic troubleshooting approach based on the DTCs associated with the problem, ensures that all underlying causes are addressed. Additionally, preventive maintenance is crucial for longevity and performance, helping to minimize risks of future DTCs. With careful attention to the system and its components, drivers can ensure their Honda CRV operates optimally while adhering to emissions regulations. Keeping these points in mind will empower vehicle owners to take informed actions regarding any EVAP-related issues that may arise. Dale like y suscríbete al canal. Hasta la próxima.